Terrence Crawford has stepped aside to allow Fundora and Errol Spence to fight in January, February time frame. Now, why would he do this? Let's talk. Straighter! Yep, the, not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. Alright, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as, long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're, or the, the, the best competition. Terrence Crawford and Fundora reached an agreement, y'all. Yeah. So Terrence Crawford and Fundora, according to Mike Cappinger, the guy that y'all will believe, you know, whatever he says, doesn't matter what he says, even when he be lying, blatantly lying. Even when I hear this man get the truth, and he still comes out and tells y'all something else. Doesn't matter. Y'all going to believe this man through and through. That's fine. No problem. This man says, ahead of tomorrow's WBO deadline, Terrence Crawford and Sebastian Fundora reached a resolution to allow Fundora to proceed with a voluntary defense with the understanding the junior middleweight title unification will be explored afterwards. This paves the way for Fundora to fight Errol Spence in 2025 as planned and a Fundora victory would set him up for a much bigger fight with Crawford later in 2025. Now, there's some, there's some things here, which is the reason why I, I, I underlined them. There are some things here that we need to address because Terrence Crawford didn't do this for the best to fight the best. No, Terrence Crawford did this because Terrence Crawford is setting himself up for a potential fight um, with Canelo Alvarez in May. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So, let's, let's look at this. Ahead of tomorrow's WBO deadlines. Let's stop right there. Today is December, uh, October 10th. Yeah, October 10th. The deadline is October 11th. The fight with Better Be Evan Bivol is October 12th. Yeah. So Terrence Crawford didn't have a choice. It's either go this route, right? I'm going this route to fight Fundora and lock Fundora in, which is a horrible business move because if I lock Fundora in, now Fundora doesn't have to fight me. I'm taking myself out of the table, right? Because if the if the Canelo Alvarez fight pops up, are you going to turn Canelo down? You're not. But the only way you will know if the Canelo Alvarez fight comes up is if Bivol wins or loses. If Bivol loses, y'all, if Bivol loses, Terrence Crawford is fighting Canelo Alvarez in May. If Bivol loses. Because Canelo Alvarez wants to fight Bivol. He wants to fight the rematch with Bivol. He wants to get that fight back. Yada, yada, yada. The issue with that is he don't want to fight Better Bev at all. Because Better Bev will drag that man. He will pummel and punish that man. So you don't, he doesn't want to do that either. So that's, that's the issue. So it's Bivol fight where, you know, I feel like I can beat him. You know what I'm saying? I should have beat him in the first fight. It wasn't like he was hurting me. He was just outboxing me. And I feel like I can correct those things and outbox him. Right? So he has that path with Bivol, which puts him um, an undisputed champion, a unified champion, a regular champion. And then now you're, so you're a 54 champion, a unified champion. At 60, you're a unified champion. At 68, you're a fucking uh, uh, undisputed champion. And at 75, you're a champion. That'll put you a two-time champion at 54, a two-time champion at 60, an undisputed champion at uh at 68, and a two-time champion at 75. That's legendary historic shit. And that's what Canelo Alvarez is looking at. Right? That's what he's looking at. And he's looking at trying to do that for the biggest bag. So Bivol is that. If he doesn't have Bivol, then the only way that he can solve that legacy piece is by fighting Terrence Crawford. He fights Terrence Crawford. He's now fighting a guy that people think arguably is the best fighter on planet Earth. He beats that guy. That guy is there just basically the same age. That guy is 
way more talented than him. But if he beats a way more talented guy, Canelo Alvarez has solidified his legacy. Solidified it. There's too many people running around here right now claiming that Canelo's ducking and avoiding. You guys are y'all don't understand what y'all are doing. Canelo Alvarez is a way bigger guy than this man, and he is skilled as fuck with a phenomenal chin. Phenomenal chin, bro. He's a way bigger guy, way bigger guy with suits, absolute big light superior skills. Not not just in the ring superior skills, big light. The, the moment is never too big for him because he is the moment at this particular time. It's not too big for him. I do not know how Terrence Crawford is going to fill out on this stage where you're the B-side in every sense of the fashion. Canelo ain't giving you nothing in negotiations. You're not getting a money split. You're not getting a ring walk. You ain't, bro, he might pick your song. Nigga, have you coming out to the YMCA? You ain't picking anything. Everything is in Canelo's favor. Everything. And he's already bigger than you. Already. He's already skilled as, as skilled in you. Way more skilled as in big fight status. Way more skilled in that respect. But you have a way more skills than him. But, bro, you were rocked by Gamboa, bro. This man has been hit by Golovkin. Kovalev, bro, you're not going to hurt him, bro, at all. Your best bet is to win on the points. And if fighting this man on the points, bro, you're already down, bro. You're, 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 this is one of those fights where you're going to realize that you're black. You're already down the scorecards. This is what fans don't understand when it comes to Canelo Alvarez fighting Terrence Crawford. It's a win-win for Canelo Alvarez. Win-win. You solidify your legacy by beating this guy. You give him his first O. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna beat him on the scorecards. I think he's gonna knock his ass out. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Different conversation. But you beat this man. Not only do you beat this man, they can't say he's a smaller guy because he's fighting at 168. They can't say you brought him up to your weight class. They can't say that because he's begging to fight you. Yeah, he's chasing you. All of the narratives that they would would say if Canelo Alvarez called him out are no longer there. They're no longer there. So that's the reason why Terrence Crawford came to agreement with Fundura. That's the reason why. Because the Canelo Alvarez fight is on the table. But he has to see if, can, if Bivol wins. If Bivol wins, then Terrence Crawford can easily fight somebody in between or while he's waiting for the winner of this fight right here. While he's waiting for the winner of Spence Fundura. He can easily fight somebody in a stay busy fight. Easily do that. Fight some bum or somebody. Hell, he could fight Boots Ennis, whole other conversation. But he he will now be available, open, because this fight with um, the, or Terrence Crawford and the winner of this fight right here, this fight won't happen until next August, September time frame. It might not even happen then. It might not. Because if Canelo Alvarez beats Bivol at 175, if, if Bivol wins and becomes undisputed, Canelo Alvarez is fighting Bivol at 175. If Canelo Alvarez beats Bivol at 175, he is not keeping those titles because his mandatory is Benavidez, which means Canelo Alvarez is going to drop all those titles. All the 175-pound titles are going to be vacant, and Canelo is going to go back to 68 where he's comfortable. That's what's going to happen, which then will leave Canelo Alvarez the opportunity to fight Terrence Crawford in September. So Terrence Crawford may never even fight the winner of Errol Spence versus Fundora. He will never even fight him. So it's business sense for, Can for Terrence Crawford. This has nothing to do with anything else but Canelo Alvarez. It's a business move. They were forcing his hand. They were forcing Terrence Crawford's hand. He had to do this. He had to. Otherwise, he is removing his chances of fighting Canelo Alvarez. And I know people will think, well, can't he just, you know, be the, the Mando for our uh, for the, the winner and still fight Canelo Alvarez? Yeah, he can do that. But if he does, he is dropping the Mando spot. That's what he's doing. He is taking the risk of, yeah, let me go fight Canelo Alvarez. I get knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. Now, all of a sudden, I no longer am the mandatory at motherfucking 154. I might lose my belt after getting knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, I might lose a WBO belt that I have. So I go up to 175, get knocked out. I mean, I go 68, get knocked out, and then go back to 54 to become the mandatory. 
Bro, you the 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 amount of damage this man will have done to his career, bro. He, there, there won't be no fucking big money fight in that fight with him getting just coming off a knockout loss to Canelo Alvarez and then moving back down. And if he beats Canelo Alvarez, then Canelo's gonna want a rematch. So if 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 Bivol wins, right? I mean, uh, I mean, if Bivol wins, then you're looking at maybe one fight with Canelo Alvarez in September. If Bivol wins. If Bivol loses, you may get two fights, right? You may get two. If you beat Canelo Alvarez in May, then you got the rematch in September. Then no one gives a fuck about this fight at all. You've got two Canelo fights. You've got the May fight where you beat him, and then the rematch where you might beat him again. That's what Terrence Crawford has. This is all a business move. He don't give a damn about this fight at all. This is a backup plan. It's a backup plan. He don't want to fight Errol Spence rematch at all, which is why you see the wording. This pays the way for Fundora to fight Errol Spence in 2025. And if Fundora's victory, where, where, why aren't they saying, and if Errol Spence victory? Because an Errol Spence victory is a fucking a rematch with Crawford and Spence. How come they're not saying that? I'll tell you why. Because the man don't want to fight Errol Spence no more. He fought Errol Spence when Errol Spence was depleted. Give a fuck what y'all say. Oh, here we go with this QC. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. You care? Errol Spence was depleted. It was not the same Errol Spence. This is an Errol Spence who is in a weight class that's more comfortable for him. If he beats Fundora, he is now beating somebody who is fucking dominant as a motherfucker, a cheat code. He's going to be going into this fight on a fucking high note. You're going to this fight on a low note. Where you lost to Fundora. I mean, you lost to fucking uh, DoorDash. Yeah, that's why he don't want, what? He don't want this fight, bro, at all. At all, he don't want this fight. This fight right here, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford, you are the mandatory. You don't want this fight, bro. He is the mandatory, which means you have a mandatory split. That's what you have. You have a mando split. Oh, what happened? Y'all don't want to talk about that no more? But y'all sure did want to talk about it with Devin Haney. Oh, man, well, Devin Haney, Devin Haney could have gave him his Mando split, man. Devin Haney could have gave him a Mando split, man. Why didn't Devin Haney give Shakur Stevenson 30%, man? That was a price house. That was a duck, blah, blah, blah. He should have gave him 30%. Why didn't give him 30%? Well, cool. The Mando split for the WBO is 35%. It is 35%. That is the Mando split. 65 35% is the mandatory split for the WBO. Terrence Bud Crawford is the WBO mandatory. If Errol Spence beats Thunderbird, Errol Spence is not going to give him the exact same thing he gave him at 147. Yeah, the get back. The get back. <laughs> yeah, Errol Spence beats Thunderbird. Terrence Crawford gets 35%. Not a fucking penny more. That's what you get. You're the mandatory. Now, do you want to fight or not? That's what Terrence Crawford's going to have to go through with Errol Spence. Because Errol Spence will now be the unified champion. That's what he'll be, the unified champion. This is not the WBA champion versus the WBC and WBO champion. No. This is the WBC and WBO champion fighting his WBO mandatory. To get back. <laughs> to get back. That's what this is. And that's why Terrence Crawford doesn't want to do it. If Terrence Crawford fights Fundora, Terrence Crawford can claim he's the fucking A-side. Or at least it's a 50-50 split. Terrence Crawford can't claim the A-side if Errol Spence wins. Nah, he can't. Because Errol Spence's name is bigger. It's way bigger than Fundora. And now Errol Spence already gave you a 50-50 split. He already did a coin flip with you. He already did all that. Tables have turned. He is now the WBC and WBO champion. You are his mandatory. That's what you are. You are his mandatory. But BF, Terrence Crawford has a WBO belt, so so he has a WBA, so it's really a unification. It's a unification. Yeah, 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 yeah sure, 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 sure. Sure. Tell Black Lies that. Tell Black Lies. Black Lies run right here. And again, the sanctioning body, according to the sanctioning body, this 
percent split is this, and the percent split is that. It's cool. I, I, I'm cool. I'm great. No problem. No problem. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy. Errol Spence don't have to go after the undisputed. Hey, man, you don't, you don't have to put your belt in the line. You're my mandatory. I'm fighting my Mando. I'm fighting my WBO mandatory. If you want to come with the WBA belt, cool, I'm with it. I'll take, I'll take a three belt unification. But you're my mandatory, and that's how I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you as my WBO Mando. That's what this says. That's the reason why you're stepping aside, because you're my mandatory. Fine. Well, now you're still my mandatory. So you will take a mandatory split. That's what you will do. And if you don't take a mandatory split, then I guess you just don't want to fight me. Yeah, that's what Terrence Crawford is going, trying to go to Canelo Alvarez, right? That's why Terrence Crawford is trying to hold out for Canelo Alvarez because he doesn't want to fight Earl Spence. Fundora, he'll fight Fundora. But he doesn't want to fight Earl Spence at all. Because now, fighting Errol Spence, you are fighting a unified champion. I don't think Terrence Crawford is even going to stay in the division long. But let's keep going. Because he says, an understanding the junior welterweight, a junior middleweight title fight unification will be explored. 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 Not guaranteed. Not set. That's the reason why they put the wording a, a, a unification, right? That's why they put the wording in there. Words matter, y'all. Words matter. This is the shit that they're pushing out to the public because this is what they want you to, to think and look at. They don't want you to look at the fact that Terrence Crawford is the mandatory for the WBO. They don't want you to look at that word. They want you to look at unification word because words matter. Because if you look at unification word, then you can say, oh, well, you know, he's got a belt and, and, and you got two belts. So, you know, this should more be, uh, 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 we should more get a, a, a bigger split and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, you, there's no split. There's no uh, get, uh, ordered split for unification and blah, 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 blah. But y'all won't say that when it comes to Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Because that was undisputed. Yeah, and there is no fucking order for an undisputed. There is no split for an undisputed champion at all. There is none. Just like there is no split for a unification. And that's why they use unification. Yeah, that's why they use that. Terrence Crawford don't got to put his belt in the line. He ain't got to put his belt in the line at all. Terrence Crawford can say, hey, I'm not fighting for the WBA. I'm fighting as the mandatory for the WBO. That's what I'm doing. Yes, he can do that. Yes. He can go to the WBA and say, don't sanction this fight. He can petition the WBA to not sanction the fight. Yes, he can. Absolutely can. Absolutely. Whether they will do it or not is a whole different story. But he can absolutely petition to say, I just want to fight as a WBO mandatory. So I don't lose my WBA belt. Yes, he can do that. It'd be some whole ass shit, but he can do it. Anyways, so I'm telling you guys the reason why this man is going the route that he's going. It has nothing to do with the betterment of boxing, nothing to do with, you know, him, uh, uh, you know, allowing Fundora to do this. It has nothing to do with any of that. He don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Fundora and he don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Harold Spence. He cares about Terrence Bud Crawford. That's what he cares about. Terrence Crawford. What's best for Terrence Crawford? What's best for Terrence Crawford is fighting Canelo Alvarez. That is what's best for Terrence Crawford. That is the only reason why he postponed this fight or postponed this or came to a resolution. Because if he didn't come to a resolution, if he didn't, then they were going to strip Fundora, strip him, and just... Terrence Crawford, here you go. You're elevated to WBO. Now you're WBA and WBO. Here's your elevation. Well, what money is in that? What money is in it? How much bread is he going to get from the WBO emailing him a W? No, he's going to lose money because now he's got to pay sanction fees. Yeah, now he's got to pay that thirty, that three percent for the w, for having the WBO bill. So it's stupid to just be elevated to the WBO champion where I have to pay you fucking sanction fees for nothing. It's stupid to do that when I can just say, "Hey, you guys, go ahead, y'all figure it out." 
Doesn't matter. I'm in line for a, for a shot at you guys anyway. So I'm in line. So I'm good. So I got I got my ducks covered on this side. So let me go over here to see if, if I can get this Canelo shit. Because my, my ducks is covered. Yeah, I'm good right here. This one's solved. This one's locked in. I'm, I'm good over here. Let me see if I can get this Canelo shit. And all I got to do is wait and see this fucking weekend. It's not difficult to understand. You guys just don't want to understand. But when you sit back and think about, if you wanted to fight Fundora Terrence Crawford, and you were doing all this shit, talk about I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. You were doing all this shit. You, you, you was all up in the media, all up in everybody's face. Everybody, nah, fuck that. Nah, I'm next. I'm next. Just know I'm next. That's what he was doing, all that. Well, if you were next because you wanted the belt, well, if Fundora didn't fight you, you would be elevated to the WBO champion and you would have the belt. Why do you give a fuck if Fundora fights Errol Spence? You just want the belt. But he doesn't want the belt. He wants the bag. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, I got no beef. But the bag is Canelo Alvarez. If you're fighting Fundora, if you're locked into a Fundora fight, that's what you're locked into, then how are you going to fight Canelo Alvarez? There is no Canelo fight if you're fighting Fundora. Yeah, that, that fight is finished. Because you're going to be fighting him in when? February? So you fight in February, you think you're going to fight Canelo in May? No. No. No, you're not. No, you're not. And there's no, there's no uh, say to what will happen in that fight. You may fucking lose to Fundora. If you lose to Fundora, you ain't never fighting Canelo Alvarez. There is no shot in hell you fight Canelo Alvarez. If you lose to Fundora, there is no way in fucking hell, bro. No way. But if you lose to Canelo Alvarez, you can still fight Fundora Errol Spence winner. It'd be a little difficult. There'll be some negotiating shit going down with the money split and shit like that because you're the mandatory. But you will still have that fight. You lose to Canelo, this fight is still on the table. You lose to Errol Spence, Fundora. If you lose to them, Canelo is finished. So what Terrence Crawford is doing is a very smart business move. Very smart business move. It's not about belts or nothing. It's about a bag. That's what it's about. It's about fighting Canelo. Whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys are trying to spin in some other direction and act like that ain't the case when it is. Oh, no. Terrence Crawford, he's doing these guys a favor. No, he's not. He's caring about himself. He can fuck about these guys. And he shouldn't care about those guys. He should care about himself. And that's exactly what he's caring about. Himself. DFTB, man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, subscribe to my Patreon. And if you feel like supporting me, please support me in the PayPal or the Cash App.